Hey everybody, Peace Outcast here, back with more Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, and we've made it into the Sith Academy. Can I, uh, loop that? Jar Dark Jedi Knight robe. What? Wait, no, I don't want to give it anything. I want to take... Okay. Okay, so we need to, um, oh, talk to her, I guess. Ah, there you are. My favorite prospect for the year. Favorite prospect? Absolutely. By my estimation, you are far more likely to achieve the prestige necessary to join the Sith than any of the others. As a matter of fact, I am so certain of that that I'm willing to offer you an opportunity of the once-in-a-lifetime variety. Would you like to hear it? Sure. Good. I do so adore someone who's willing to take a chance. As I said, you're no doubt going to be the one whom Uthar chooses to become a Sith. With my help, of course. Once that occurs, he will take you into the Valley of the Dark Lords to the tomb of Nagasado to administer the final test. There you and I will be alone with him. The perfect time to, shall we say, arrange for a change in the Academy's leadership. What's so important about the tomb? The tomb is an ancient ruin on the surface that was visited years ago by Darth Revan and Darth Malak. They discovered a star map there of great importance. You don't say. Well, the Master loves tombs, don't you, Master? Reaching that map, as they did, is part of the final test. At any rate, it is not the tomb that is important. That Uthar will be alone is what is important. Um, okay, so you want me to kill him. Is that such a daunting prospect? It is not as if I am asking you to perform the task alone, or as if you will get nothing out of it. Master Uthar cannot prevail against us both. That's all there is to it. It is a very simple matter. <coughs> Pardon me. Feeble against Master? Sounds familiar. What's to stop me from telling him about this? What's your part in this? Uh, how do I know this isn't some test? Hmm. <laughs> you must not know much about the Sith yet. If Uthar were even to suspect that I might be trying to supplant him, true or not, well, let's just say he wouldn't likely stop to ask too many questions before ensuring I was dealt with. Hmm. Okay, so what's your part in all this? My part in this is to help you gain enough prestige and slow down the progress of the other hopefuls. I want you in that tomb when the time is right. We destroy Master Uthar together and I take his place. And you take your place at my side. A beautiful plan in its sheer simplicity. Mmm, sure. Why not? I'm so glad you see it my way. I will begin to make preparations for your final test. Your only worry now is to get there. Don't disappoint me. How do I get more prestige? You must impress Master Uthar. Go to him with news of your deeds, or artifacts you have discovered. The first and easiest way would be for you to learn the code of the Sith and speak it to him. I can teach you that, if you like. Shall I go on? Sure. I can help you understand it. Would you like to hear it? Peace is a lie. There is only passion. Through passion, I gain strength. Through strength, I gain power. Through power, I gain victory. Through victory, my chains are broken. The Force shall free me. Simple words, yet easily misunderstood. Would you care for me to explain anything? Mm, no. I am not surprised. The Force is strong with you. Master it and it shall serve you well. And, um, I want to know more about the ruins on the surface. I have been involved in the work there over the last couple of years, but not often. Most of the excavating is left to the students. What did you wish to know? Um, why are the Sith so interested in the ruins? We could learn much about the history of the ancient Sith. Why they were on Korriban and why they left. Perhaps we could learn more about the origin of the Force itself. With that knowledge could come great power. Uh, is there a way into the tomb of Nagasada? Not unless you are accompanied by Master Uthar. No, it is strictly forbidden. 
And I truly doubt you could bypass the doors to the tomb with anything less than ship blasters. Even then, perhaps. No other way inside, eh? None. I do not even know how Master Uthar gains entrance, to tell the truth. Though I look forward to discovering that fact. I have searched many times, so do not bother. There is no other way. Do not fret, however. Simply get the prestige you need, and you will see the tomb soon enough. Okay. As you wish. Sounds good. Do you know anything about Darth Revan? Revan? You mean Darth Malak's former master? That's the one. Very little. I never met him personally, though I heard he was a very powerful man. Very charismatic. In the end, Revan was outshone by his pupil. Such is the way of the Sith. Why? Is this dead man of importance to you? Do you think it's possible he might still be alive? You wouldn't recognize Revan if the two of you met? Uh, you mentioned that Revan came here before. Both Revan and Malak came to Korriban when they discovered the tomb of Nagasato. That was before my time. Hmm. Do you think it's possible that Revan might still be alive? Anything is possible. Uthar's former master still lives, though he is in no condition to challenge his former pupil for leadership. Perhaps the same is true for Revan. Perhaps Revan is out there, somewhere, waiting to take revenge upon Malak. More likely, what we were told is the truth. Revan is dead. Malak would be foolish to leave his old master alive, considering all the knowledge Revan held. Interesting. So you wouldn't recognize Revan, eh? Is there any reason I should? Beside the fact I did not know Revan in life, Revan was known for wearing a full helmet and cape. Perhaps Revan's body had been disfigured by the power of the Force. It is not unheard of. Regardless, I doubt I shall be meeting Revan any time soon. <laughs> That's all. Fair enough. Hmm. <clears throat> And uh, that's it. I don't really care about her. You have had an excellent start. Go. Gain more prestige. Uh huh. By, uh, oh, I can't loot your stuff? That's a shame. Mm. Okay, nothing there. Um, with our wind's room. Locks. Well, damn. Kel? Oh, uh, hello. I don't remember seeing you here before. My name is Kel. Kel Alwyn. Something wrong? I... oh, uh, nothing. You sure? Uh, yes. My master always says I'm too trusting, too willing to show weakness. You're a Sith, so I, I really shouldn't... you know. But I'm not a Sith yet. Oh, I know that. I mean... You aren't yet, but you intend to be. I mean, you're just like everyone else here. And you're not? Well, I, 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 I didn't mean it like that. Well, how did you mean it, then? I, I, I shouldn't trust you. I, I can't trust you. Can I? Sure you can. No, no, I shouldn't bother you with it. Forget I said anything. Damn. Out with it. I, um, yeah, forget I said anything. Just go back to your training, please. I have work to do. You're no Sith. I've never seen anyone so pathetic. I, I am too a Sith. I'm more a Sith than you are. I'll show you. Oh, okay. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh, you disabled me. I don't like that. You make him fly. And you um, try stasis. What is it? Nice. <laughs> this is where having, having yes. um, assistance comes in handy. Not Sith enough. Yeah, foot locker. <laughs> What have you got for me? Sith sniper, rifle, assault, uh, assassin pistol, and repeating blasters. Sure, why not? Sounds good. Okay. Greetings, student. Greetings! <clears throat> Is 
Sorry, I am fighting the flu, so my throat is not very happy. Um, no, I can't go back that way. What's here? Mickle. Hey, Mickle. It's a bad year to try and become a Sith, you know. I've got it all wrapped up. Hmm. I'll make you so sure. You think I would tell you? Had my brain started dribbling out of my nose or something? Well, I wasn't going to say. Uh, it would be an improvement. <laughs> Funny. Say that after I'm a full Sith and I'll ground your face into the dirt just for fun. Mm-hmm. You hanging around still? Don't you have your own plans? Not that they'll help you. I'm in for sure, you know. Uh, whatever. I'm the one that's gonna make it. Well, you're off to a super start. You've got no more prestige than I do at the moment. Thing is, I know how to get some. How do you plan on getting it? Yeah, he's not gonna tell me. You're lying, I can tell. Think what you like. Just remember, only one of us gets to become a Sith. Hmm. Too bad I can't kill you. Eh, oh. No loot. How come there's not more loot? Lashway. You? Or Lashow? I remember Lashow? you from the colony. I can't believe you actually made it into the academy. Who are you again? <laughs> I remember you. I challenge you to a duel. A duel? Fine. You run along and get ready while I go gain some prestige. Idiot. Oh. You? That's a shame. Trying to become a Sith as well. Just figure that out, did you? <laughs> it just so happens that I have a surefire way of pulling ahead in this little contest of ours. You don't really have a chance. And why is that? I found an artifact that will impress Uthar far more than anything you could ever scrounge up. I'll win for sure. Why haven't you brought it to Uthar yet? I don't have it just yet. I'll get it when I'm good and ready. Where is this artifact? <laughs> like I would tell you. Why don't I just let you rob me while you're at it? Is it guarded? So what if it is? I'll get it eventually, regardless. Nothing good comes without a bit of a fight. That's the Sith motto, more or less. Maybe I can help you with, now, with it. Now, where are you going with this, I wonder? <laughs> Forget it. I'm not going to be tricked so easily. Just move along now. That's a shame. I'm just not that good at persuading people. Hey, Chardin. I remember you. You're all right. Trying for the Academy, I see. Yes, indeed. That's true. I had no idea you were coming for the Academy when I met you in the colony, though. Who are you? The name's Chardin. Didn't I tell you that back in the colony? Maybe not. Do you want to coordinate the strategy? I don't work or play well with others. Thanks for the offer, though. Hmm. That's too bad. Can I rob you? No. That's also too bad. All right, well, I guess we... Hmm. No, this is back where I was. That's a shame. Should be heading forward. Students... Hajata? Come back when you've taken your final test, if you survive it. Uh, oh, that goes back out. Hmm. What's up there? Something there? There's something down there, but we should probably just talk to this guy. Greetings, young one. You have much to do yet. You have gained little prestige. You will have to work quickly if you hope to best the others. Um... I know the code. Then finish the code as I speak it. Peace is a lie. That is only... 
passion. Through passion, I gain strength. Through strength, I gain um the power. Through power, I gain victory. Through victory. My chains disappear. My chains are broken. The force shall free me. Yes, good. You have indeed learned the code of the Sith. Speaking the words and knowing the words are, however, two different things. Tell me then, true or false, victory by any means is desirable. True. False. Yeah. Unless victory proves your superiority, it is an illusion. It is temporary. Sadly, it seems you did not understand the code as well as I thought. Well, damn. Well, I have something to tell you about Uthera. Oh? What is my apprentice up to now? He wants me to help you kill her at the final trial. I see. It is good that you have come to me with this information, young one. It is a bit ironic that Uthera has begun her plotting. I have been aware of her growing ambitions for some time, and had in fact already decided to remove her. Normally, the one who gains the most prestige would engage in a final trial. Two of the students would fight. This time, it will be Euthura who battles, though she does not yet know it. Perhaps it will be you who combats her. Yes, perhaps so. This is what you can do. Give this pad to Adrenus. He will put some poison in her bath. This will weaken Euthura for that final test, making her an easy target. Rather generous of me, don't you think? Mm, this should be interesting. For coming to me with this information and betraying your foolish trainer, I feel you are worthy of prestige, young one. Go now. You have not yet impressed me enough to declare you the victor. I have matters to attend to. How can I gain more prestige? Oh, it is no more complicated than I said. Perform impressive deeds, or bring me a suitably valuable artifact from the Valley of the Dark Lords. Really, however, you should seek out Euthura and get her advice. She is your trainer, after all, yes? Yeah, where's the valley? There is an exit that leads to the surface of the planet. The valley is only a short trip from there. It is not difficult to find. Thank you. Very well. You have impressed me. Definitely a good start. Right. Okay, so... I guess we'll, uh, we'll try over here first. Let's see what's this way. It's a teacher, student, and... What is this? Door to Valley. Okay. So, what is here, I wonder? Sharak. Let's try... Force Whirlwind. Oh, cool. That worked. And you can hit uh, one of the other ones with Whirlwind. No, 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 no. Hit it with Whirlwind and then attack it. And you... Uh, we do have more than one, right? Can't quite see which is which. Ah, uh, whatever. Attack. What? Yeah. Oh, they're going down. Wow, okay. Can I get anything from these things? Kind of seems like a no. Sure. What's over here? Shira Caves. I don't know. Do we want to go in there? Sure, why not? I guess. It's a dead Sith. Ooh. That is a lot of them, man. Now he's saved. Ow. Anything here? How come something is kind of appearing and yet not? Alright, 
whatever. to loot around here. So the corpse. What have you got? Not much. Let's try this path. Frag grenade. I mean frag mine. Can I disable that? Nope. Can you pull this up and yes. I will speed this up. Where you guys? Hold it right there, whoever you are. We're not going back to the academy. We'll kill you rather than go back. Uh, go back? What are you talking about? You mean you aren't here to kill us or bring us back? I find that hard to believe. The only way into these caves is through the academy. You must be a sick. So what is it then? If you're not here to kill us or bring us back, why are you here? Speak up! Hey, you got me. I'm here to kill you after all. Open fire! Get them! Get them! Well, that didn't work. And you. Whirlwind attack. Yes. Nice. Oh! For the Republic! Damn. Um. Attack. What is it? She got knocked back too. Attack this guy. Wow, I'm getting like knocked around. Like, left to right. Come on, girl. Hit her with force. Something. Do something. Why are you? Why are you electrocuted? Yes. Sure. Oh, there we go. Disengage that and just attack her with strength. Hey, and I leveled up. Skills, demolitions, street injury. I don't really use street injury that much. Awareness, maybe. Feats, force jump, and master sense. So I already have those. I got all of those. Jedi defense. Um. No. 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 This feat gives. Well, this feat gives the character with an equipped lightsaber the ability to deflect. Hmm. Yeah, I probably would be a lot better off with lightsabers, wouldn't I? I do want to see if it's possible to. Uh, actually, can I save a feat? You have gained. You must use add feat. Oh, that's a shame. Okay, uh, Caution gives a bonus skill to both Demolition and Stealth. I could open up some of these other attack options. Empathy, probably not. Gearhead, no. Conditioning. Plus one bonus to all saving throws. Sure. Power. Sure. 
Sure, let's just, uh, just level that one up. Sounds good. Yes. What? Remains. Ooh, dueling shield? Anything else? Nothing? No. Nothing. Not too bad. I could probably disable it, but not. Not renew. So they set up a bunch of mines and then just hung out there. Strange. Right. Probably a good place to save. I never did come down here. Mm. Kill it. Kill it all. That is what the Oh. And you need? Yes. Wish there was a way to recharge force powers. Yeah, that's that one. I'm stuck again, I think. Yep. Should probably delete some of these saves. Nothing there. There's some. How come these, uh. These things. are here again? Yes. Give us burst yes. speed and let's go kill those things. Oh, I'm not moving very quickly. There you go. So there's still that. I, I should probably... Probably go check that out. And then I'll cross the bridge. Ah, uh, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. <laughs> Throw a grenade over there. stuck again. Yep. Okay, let's um let's delete Kashik. Anti screen. There you go. And then we will save on there. And reload so that I can actually move. Chewed corpse. Mm mm mm. Not much of anything there. I don't have enough force powers for that. Let's go kill that thing. And, um. Hmm. Am I stuck? What is going on? Why am I constantly getting stuck?
And my uh, my force powers aren't going up very, at all, very quickly. Certainly not very quickly. Okay, that's just back to where we were. So we can. Uh, I'm so used to using force pa uh, speed. Can't seem to make it without it. I yeah. Oh, Shyrak. What? Where are they coming from? Attack it. It's sure. Oh, it's one of those things. Interesting. Let's see what we've got. Ion, plasma grenade, cryoban grenade, sonic grenade. I don't really know what would work well. Thermal detonator? It didn't do as much as I'd hoped. Poison grenade? Uh, did something to it at least. Okay, <clears throat> you try a uh, force whirlwind on yes. it. Yeah, you're immune. Of course you are. Uh, let's try chucking your grin your uh, thing at it. Oh, that should work well. Sure. You will fall. You will meet your doom. What is it? Better oh, right. so Take that. She's poisoned. Next is uh, not this again. Unconscious. Oh, and he spits poison out. Hmm. Yuck. to the other side, what does that mean? It means that we're going to have to end this episode because it's running over. Thanks very much for joining me. We'll see you next time.